screen time. Something that we all want. But is there such thing as having too much of it? I'm Addie and this is my TED Talk. Kids can spend all day inside on a beautiful gorgeous day watching YouTube on their phone or iPad. But screens put strain on your eyes and they give you headaches. That stinks. So kids should really just play outside, play a game, go play a game of basketball or just go find some friends, play tag. That's so much more fun and so much more social than just sitting on a device. And looking down at screens hurts your neck. I've done this before. I've looked at a computer for so long, I need to go grab a pillow. You, After your neck hurts, that's the point where you need to take a break, go exercise, maybe do just dance. Like, that's on the screen, but it's still good. It's still exercise. Maybe go, like, run around, take a jog. But if you spend too much time on a screen, you can become addicted in quotes. You can't actually become addicted, but you might just keep wanting it on when your friends say, oh, want to come over? You'll be like, no, I need to stay on this. That's not good at all. It will hurt your eyes and definitely won't help if you have bad eyesight like me. Um, and on beautiful days, kids spend most of the time on devices. I mean, that's not right at all. They should be outside playing with their friends, go playing soccer or something, playing a game. But um, instead of just talking to people, um, kids can, kids and adults, they text. I mean, it's better to look at someone face to face, talk to them, look into their eye. Like, even FaceTime, that's better than just texting. But I would suggest if you want to talk to a friend, maybe text, say, hey, want to come over and play with me? Instead of just texting and instead of socializing. And people love their technology so much, people text will drive. That's terrible. No one should be texting while driving. There are videos of people saying, where there are videos of people saying this is what they said before they got in a crash. That's how addicted people can be. I mean, that's it's not really good. And if you look up from your device, maybe you're going to see how beautiful the world is. Maybe you'll see what your friends are. Maybe you'll see some of your friends' personalities. Maybe you'll just find something new. Maybe you'll spend some time with your family, play a board game with them. But kids can also get tired when spending long periods of time on devices, like looking at this little, little tiny thing, and they get crabby. My mom, one time I spent a long time on my device, and I was very crabby, and it. I lost my phone, and that was a very, very good thing. I got to play outside and have some fun. But, um... Playing outside and getting, getting exercise makes kids so much happier. When I just go play basketball, I feel I come home with a smile on my face. It just makes you feel so much better than just watching YouTube or playing games. But you should definitely try to go to play like tag or hide and seek with your friends, or even if, or even siblings if you have any, because they are there for you to play with. And that's just it's just so much fun. And Screen time can also make it very, very hard to sleep at night. It can, and it'll just like put straight on your eyes. You'll be, ha you'll have trouble sleeping every night. I mean, if you just go play outside, take a jog, you'll feel so much better. Come and eat dinner and then go to bed, maybe read a book. And that's just perfect. But kids should definitely try to have less screen time. And adults, I mean, it is the 21st century. We are coming up with new technologies. But instead of being surrounded by all of it, go play a game outside. That's basically what you need to do every day. You need to at least 60 minutes. But I'm Addie, and this is why you shouldn't have so much screen time.